Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and configure an email autoresponder within system.io. If you stick with me to the end, I'll actually give you a leads funnel plus an email autoresponder campaign that you can import into your own system.io account at a click of a button. You'll be up and running within a matter of minutes, being able to collect email addresses. Hey, I'm Brandon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. In addition, leave a comment below if you've learned anything or you have any questions and I will get back to you. Email marketing, if set up and implemented correctly, has the following three benefits for you. First of all is increase your income generating abilities. The rule of thumb is that you should be able to generate at least a dollar per person on your email list per month. And the second benefit is that you should be able to increase your reach dramatically. You should have an open rate of anywhere between 20 and 60% on your emails, which is a vast improvement of what you're able to achieve through any social media platform of roughly around about five to 7%. And the third benefit is that it doesn't cost you a cent more to actually communicate with your subscriber base on demand when you want to do it, right? So with the system.io account, even on the free account, you can send unlimited emails out to your subscriber base. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to head over and log in and create our system.io account. So once you've signed up for your free account, you will head into system.io. The first thing that we're going to do is head over to settings in the top right, select that. On the left hand side, we'll go and select mail settings. I am going to assume that you're just using a free email account in order to get started. Um, just a caveat over here, it is only a free Gmail account that will work with system.io. You can't use a Yahoo or Hotmail or an AOL account or anything like that. It has to be a Gmail account. Your sender email addresses, you can um, click here to confirm your sender email address. This really only is per pertinent if you're using a professional domain. That is where you actually have bought a domain that you are using for your emails and you would then need to verify it. If you have purchased your own professional domain and you want to know how to configure and authenticate your email domain, go and have a look at my video over here. This will tell you exactly how to authenticate your email domain. But if you're using the free, all you need to do over here is head over to your sender email address. Just complete that. That should already be populated with the email address that you use to sign up to system.io account with. Add your sender name and your test email address. This will help when you're actually creating your emails in your email campaign that will already, already pre-populate it with your name as well as your email address that you're using. Once you've done that, head back up to the top and go select save. That'll then update your changes in your settings. So once you've done that, you're gonna head over to your emails. You're gonna head over to the campaign section. Now there are two sections within system.io. The first being is the actual campaign. And this is your what is known as your autoresponder. So what this means is that when someone provides you with their email address, they'll automatically follow this sequence of emails that you will then send out. It'll they'll start at email number one and they will then work their way through the actual sequence without skipping any of the emails. The other option is a newsletter email. And once again, this will be empty because it's a, a brand new account. But a newsletter is just a broadcast email that you are sending out to your user base on an ad hoc basis. It just means that it does not form part of any sequence and it is a once off email that gets that actually gets sent out. But we don't actually want to be sending out a newsletter in, today, in today's video. We're going to be looking at actually setting up a campaign. So you head over to on to the right hand side, go create a campaign. You'll give this campaign a name, anything that is descriptive for you. We'll call that test and then you can actually enter in a description about this particular campaign you'll go and select save and your campaign will actually now be created what we'll then go and do is we'll go and select that particular campaign and here we have the ability to now actually create our very first email here you select add an email and here you can see it's populating my name brandon that's why i go and do the settings first and my sender email address and now what we'll do is we'll go and give our very first email a subject once you've put in the subject header, you can then either select a visual editor, that's one that has images involved or a classic editor. And that was just where it'll be text. Doesn't mean that you can't go and add images afterwards. I prefer a classic editor, go and select create. And this is your template for creating your emails. Over, over here on the left-hand side, you'll have your sender email address and there'll be an amber exclamation mark. If you select that, System.io is just informing you that you need to go and authenticate your email domain. Once again, if you're using a free Gmail account, you do not need to do this. It is only for those that have actually purchased a professional domain and will be using that to send out their email addresses. 
Now, there are a number of gurus out there that will tell you that if you don't purchase a professional domain, that your emails will go straight into spam. I just want to tell you that that is not true. You can use a free Gmail account. And I know many affiliate marketers who actually do do this and successfully have their emails delivered to the inboxes of their subscribers. However, in saying that, it does look more professional if you go and purchase a professional domain and use that to communicate with your subscribers. Nothing stops you from starting off with Gmail though, and then at a later stage, purchasing your domain and then changing your email sequence to actually start using that particular professional domain. But that's enough said about that. This already pre-populate based upon the settings that we've set up in kind of step one, and it'll pick up your email address as well as your sender, the name. So next, what we're gonna do is go and create the body of our email, go and create that. In my case, I'm just pasting that in for, for time's sake. And what you can over, do over here is if you have captured the first name as part of your lead funnel, and I'll talk to you about a, a bit about that in a little while, you can go and select some variables that you can include in there. And here you go and select first name, go select okay. So what will actually happen is when, system.io sends out your email. If you've got your subscriber's first name, it'll insert it over here. If you don't have their first name, it'll just say hi. It's not gonna go hi first name. It'll just leave that as blank. So my recommendation is that you give a brief introduction about yourself and your business, what it is that you do and how you're able to help your customers. And then you'd also give them a brief note about the product that you are actually giving them. I'm assuming that they've signed up for a particular lead magnet that you've offered them. That is why they've given you your email address. And then finally, you would actually tell them where they were able to actually go and download your particular lead magnet from. Right, and that is pretty much what you would put into your first email. So then you scroll back up to the top and you go select save and publish. And what you're able to do over here is if you select zero minutes, and you'll see there's nothing in the actual, this email will be sent afterwards. This means that as soon as someone inputs their information into your lead funnel, they will immediately be sent out this particular email. We'll go and select publish. And you'll see here is our very first email. Welcome to my channel. Now what we'll do is you'd go, probably go and add a second email, go select that. Once again, it'll pre-populate with your details, go select classic editor, uh, go and add a, a subject and test email two, go and select create. Once again, same template, you'll go and start off with the hi, and you'll go and create this particular email. And what you're then going to go do is now you're going to go select save and publish again, once you've actually created that particular email. But this time, instead of putting zero, you, let's say you want to send it one day after you have sent your very first email and then you will select which email you will send that after and you'll go pick your very first email we only have one in our list at this stage but the more you add obviously that list will become longer so this particular email email number two will get delivered one day after the previous email go and select publish and now you'll see that our second email has been created and you can go and create as many emails as you want there is no limit to the number of emails that you're able to create Next up, we're actually going to go create our lead funnel. And this is just a fancy name for a website that actually captures email addresses of your subscribers. So we head over to funnels at the top. And on a new account, you won't have any funnels listed here. You can head over to the create button and go and, go and create a landing page or a funnel for yourself from scratch. If you want information on how to do that, I have a video detailing exactly how to set up a landing page. But if you're importing my funnel, it'll look something along these lines. You'll have the funnel listed over here and you'll just go and select that particular funnel. The very first page there will be a squeeze page. You go and select that particular page. You head over to the right to go and select the edit page. This will give you the ability to actually edit this web page. In my video on how to create a landing page, will detail how to edit each of these components of this page. I'm just going to take you through the process of how this works when a subscriber clicks on say this particular button you'll see over here the action that is going to be taken is going to show a particular pop-up so we head over to pop-ups on the top here you can see this there's only one pop-up listed on this particular page we're going to go and view this page and over here you can see there's an input form and this is where we are capturing an individual's first name and we are going to be capturing their email address so once they have input their first name and the email address they'll I'll go and click this particular button where they get the free course and the action that is going to be taken here is going to be to send the form so this is where your subscribers first name and their email address will actually be stored in your in your database 
So that is just the background of how this landing page will actually work. So we head out of that. What we do want to do back at this free course, we're going to head over to the automation rules. We're going to go add a rule. So the four final step form subscribed is what we're going to select. So that means when someone clicks on that particular button and they actually submit their email address and their first name, go and select that. This will create our very first rule. But now what we want to do is we want to add an action. And here we're going to go select our campaign that we've actually created in the previous step. So go select that campaign. And over here, you can scroll down and you'll remember that we created our campaign. We called it test. So we go and select that and we go and select save rule. So whenever someone subscribes to your mailing list, they will automatically go into your database. And the very first email that you created in your campaign over here welcome to my channel that'll be the very first email that gets sent to them one day later email number two is going to get sent to them and that is how easy it is to create your email campaign within system.io and actually capture email addresses right i am brandon as i mentioned earlier and i help affiliate marketers become successful online i have a free course called five steps to financial freedom that if you sign up to that you will get a, you'll get access to an email campaign as well as a lead funnel that you can actually import at a click of a button into your system.io account it'll roughly take you five or ten minutes to actually import each of those steps into your account and you'll be up and running so be sure to use the link below in order to gain access to those free resources. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that all important notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel.